So the Shade Room reposted something that the LHHT or the Love and Hip Hop T on Instagram reposted, which is basically the fallout between Jojo Zarrer and Amar Amara La Negra and Bobby Lights and Amara La Negra. You know, it seems like as if Amara doesn't want to be friends with Jojo if Jojo's going to be friends with Bobby Lights. And Veronica Vega reposted their comments. So the Love and Hip Hop T said, hashtag Veronica Vega is basically saying, I told y'all so. Hashtag LHHMIA. Hashtag Amara La Negra. So what Jojo said in her comment was, Amara, hold the F up. Why the hell am I just seeing this? Listen, bro, nobody is here sneaking you, rather snaking you. I haven't even talked to you. I don't talk about you. You are mad that I'm still cool with Bobby. That ain't got shit to do with me. I can be cool with whoever the F I want to. That ain't got nothing to do with you or my friendship. That doesn't mean I'm being a fake friend. I'm just not gonna effing with every, I guess what you meant to say, I'm just not gonna stop effing with everybody because you don't like them, period. So miss me with all these posts and subliminals next time at me because I ain't got time for the BS. Sick of you taking everything to social media and love and hip hop. This fame SHIT is really changing you. Sad. And Bobby Light said, listen, 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 Amara. This is the last time I'm going to take this to social media. Keep my name out of your mouth. Stop worrying about the friendship me and, and it has ugh, this stuff covering letters. Basically, the, the friendship that him and Jojo have. How, how you dang the words are covered it's hard to read i don't care how you feel about me or what you think of me and let me see blah 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 blah, blah. basically about how she perceives him okay long story short wrap it up <laughs> getting too confusing because it's like stuff covering the letters z's and a carnival emoji anyway listen man so my cuban cutie veronica vega veronica bay Go. the singer rapper of the song pay me if you don't know what i'm talking about just type this in veronica vega pay me on youtube watch the video about that byol bring your own lotion listen man this is the thing man veronica vega my baby my sweet you know when amara turned on her over young hollywood and then went and worked with young hollywood i told y'all ninjas i said listen that's not cool now i'm not saying that Amar amara is not you know a pretty lady i'm not saying she doesn't have talent she does have things that i could talk about that are positive i'm just saying though that was some shady weird stuff and i didn't appreciate that you know i'm team pretty girl out here i want to see all the attractive women be friends love each other make their money and and, and just be as positive as possible but it's really hard to be Team Pretty Girl right now. I'm about to start saying hashtag Team Ugly Girl up in here. Because the pretty girls are ruthless. All right, y'all. Veronica Vega is a pretty girl who isn't ruthless. Well, unless you mess with her, then she can be quite ruthless. But anyways, y'all. I heard that my baby Veronica Vega and my baby Steph LaCour are not going to be on Love & Hip Hop Miami Season 2. And I'm really pissed about that because they were the best parts of the show for me. What do you guys think about Amara? Do you think that she's a fake friend? Do you think that Veronica was a fake friend? Do you think JoJo is a fake friend? Do you think Bobby Lights is a fake friend? Whose side are you on here? I'm on Veronica's side all the way. I'm, a, I'm riding with Veronica to the very end. My Jesus. Love her. Very positive. Hardworking. Talented woman. And she can shake that butt. I mean, come on now. She's a great twerker. Great rapper. Great singer. Just great everything. All right, y'all. Y'all know that I'm Team Veronica Vega, Team Steph LaCour for life. Just because I am doesn't mean you are. I, I, I just really didn't like the way that Amara treated her. And I had mad love for Amara when she first came on the show. You know, I sympathized with her and everything, you know, with her storyline. Honestly, the what was me thing just, just, it got old real quick. You know, I want to hear about your music or something. Like, are, are you just on the show to make us feel sorry for you because if so then there should be a show dedicated to that this is love and hip-hop you know i want to see you make music twerk smile be happy you know some of us watch the show to cheer us up 
all right, y'all, this is all my opinion. Whose side are you on and what do you guys think? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify, share the video, social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, two cans with a string in the middle telepathically. That way everybody and their mom or two will get to see the video and hopefully I'll get comments letting me know what y'all think. Whose side are you on? And are you surprised that Veronica and Amara still don't like each other? Are you surprised that nowadays Jojo and Amara don't like each other? Are you surprised that Amara and Bobby don't like each other? Have you have you seen the common denominator in this? It's Amara. But anyways, y'all, I gotta go meet magazine. How are you gonna tell people who they can and cannot be friends with? Come on now. This isn't <laughs> this isn't the third grade, y'all.